Pressure treated wood provides penetration and retention of preservatives for uniform protection for wood products. Ensuring the finished wood product meets the appropriate standards and building code requirements. Let's take you through the pressure treating process. Wood is ordered and shipped to the treating plant from regionally sourced mills. To ensure deep penetration of the preservatives, dense wood species such as Douglas fir and hemp fir are run through a machine called an incisor. The lumber or timbers are checked to ensure that the moisture content is at the correct level for the preservative treatment. If moisture content is too high, the wood will be dried in a large kiln to a moisture content that is optimum for proper penetration and retention of the wood preservative. The pressure treating process starts when forklifts place the wood on a tram that will move the wood into a large steel cylinder called a vacuum pressure vessel. The cylinder is then closed and sealed. A large vacuum pump removes air from the cylinder which also includes pulling air out of the wood. The pressure vessel is then flooded with the preservative solution. Pressure is applied to the solution to force the preservatives into the wood cells. The cylinder is then drained and a final vacuum is applied to the wood to recover excess preservative which is returned back to the work solution storage tank to be used in the next treating cycle. The wood is removed and placed on a drip pad until it is drip free between 24 and 48 hours. The wood is now ready to be shipped to building supply and distribution companies.